my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made edible moss. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to make this edible moss, and it is so nice. See, and it looks just like grass. So in case maybe you want to just accessorize the cake or you know accessorize the cake. So today let's make edible moss. <laughs> So guys, this was the cake I made the edible moss for, and I made it in like three different colors, so like it can look really vegetativeness. What English am I speaking? So it can really look like vegetation. You guys can talk here. Come on, my English. Okay, so I really had so much fun making this cake, as I saw different kinds on YouTube and stuff, and I had like the intention of making it for a very long time. So I was so excited making it and making the different compartments of it and stuff: the agar agar, the moss the mountain part and everything it was so much fun anyway so today let me show you guys how i made the edible mask it will take you less than five minutes i know this video is about is almost 10 minutes long or a little more than 10 minutes but that's because like i want to really explain to you guys what i'm doing and how to really do it and be you know because i like to talk anyway so the first thing you want to do is crack an egg and put it in a bowl and then you want to i've seen different tutorials online of people like some people mixing the eggs first or i'm not making that much you actually do not need that much i used just one egg and see how much moss i had see how much moss was on that cake and i still had some remaining so like you don't need that much this recipe is enough for you to even do two or three cakes if you want you don't need that much at all so guys into a bowl you're going to crack one egg and then you're going to mix that very well and into our, our um paper cups i have two paper cups i have in one three tablespoons of flour and one tablespoon of sugar and to the three tablespoons of flour i'm going to be adding one one quarter teaspoon of baking powder like one teaspoon and a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder into the into the flour and then we're going to stir it and into the eggs we are going to the egg one yes we're going to be adding just one teaspoon of honey and then you want to stir the honey into it well this is the only part that is kind of like that you really have to maybe do serious anything because you have to stay really well because if the honey is not well incorporated into the egg it will be funny once you microwave that was what happened to the first one like some parts were sticky and you don't want it to be sticky you want to create um a foamy um a foamy mossy texture and if there's a part that's sticky it don't look like that it'll look like i don't know it just really looks weird like it was clumped up so what you want to do is when you had the honey okay what you should do is take the honey out of the fridge for maybe overnight so that way it won't be too firm because this one was a little too firm that was i made it a little bit difficult for me so so if you're using very like liquidy or runny one it will be easier for you to make so just make sure you mix it really well and there are no clumps of honey inside the egg yeah that's all you need to do and then you're going to mix it really well until it is well incorporated okay so as soon as you're done with that you're going to be adding one tablespoon of sugar okay so i had somebody send me uh, like a comment about two two weeks ago about um tablespoon and teaspoon tablespoon and teaspoon are very different they're not the same thing so if you don't know the the difference just google it and see the difference tablespoon like is bigger is the spoon you used to eat and teaspoon is the tiny spoon i don't know nigerians don't really drink tea <laughs> but the tiny spoon is teaspoon so there's different between tablespoon and teaspoon it won't give you different results if you're interchanging or into switching them they're not the same okay so once you've added the sugar you don't have to like stir it too much or except to add the energy of course like it still give you a really good result so you want to add your flour and baking powder into it remember we added baking powder a quarter a teaspoon and a quarter into the flour yes so into this now we're adding the flour and the baking powder at once and then we are going to stir and then you want to stay really well you want to stay really really well normally if you're making a cake i would say don't stay too well so you don't over mix so your cake won't become tough but in this case you want it to become tough you want to over mix so you can beat out the gluten that way when your moss will be firm and have like really firm texture kind of like foam and like really really firm it won't be soft or spongy like cake yeah it will look spongy but it will be really tough I don't know so just make sure you say it really well okay so for this i'm not trying to make um three different colors in three different cups so because like you know now i like to make things easy and make it the easiest way with shortcuts <laughs> okay so what we're going to do with this is we're going to make three different colors in one cup yeah 
so i call it a yellow first because i wanted like um like like um an autumn color like that dried leaf kind of yellow because when it goes into the microwave it's become a little bit brownish don't worry so we're going to add yellow into the paper cup and then once you add the yellow yeah just add a little and then to the yellow add a little blue because yellow and blue gives you green so you're going to once you add a little blue it's going to give you green yeah okay so we're going to take the blue and add it and then it's going to give us green and then we are going to stir it and put a little bit of the green into the same cup if you want if you can if you have three different cups you can use three different cups like three different colors and three different cups so how many colors you want to make but you don't have to really like the mixture the combination kind of gives you a more realistic mossy you know texture <laughs> i don't know <laughs> okay so i'm adding the green into that and then it's mainly very little green and then to that i'm going to add a little brown and what that does is it gives it this dull green color like when like leaves are already fading that green that is not like fresh green like leaves that are old kind of green color yes so when you add brown it gives you that like army green yes army green color sorry <laughs> so you're going to stir the color into it really well and make sure it is incorporated and then you're going to pour everything into your paper cup okay and okay if you notice i didn't maybe flour or um or or like spray the paper cup so it's going to stick and don't worry if it sticks you can if it sticks you can cut it out with scissors it doesn't have to like you don't have to oil the, the cup or like flour it first like you normally do with cake okay so now you're going to open the microwave and put it in there for 30 seconds and after 30 seconds check if it's okay if it's puffed and it's bouncy on the top then it's okay if it is not put it back in for another 10 seconds if it is not the another 10 seconds until it is bouncy on top kind of like this and when you turn it upside down it is very bouncy i don't know if you can see what i'm doing like it is very bouncy it's almost like foam yeah that's the texture you're looking for and it is so pretty and if you feel the cup to the top enough it will like it will form a dome kind of like this okay so now it is ready so now we have our edible mask so we're going to keep it for um 15 to 20 minutes to cool down like the weather is really cold here so it took like 15 20 minutes but make sure it's completely cold that way when you press it it won't like press down it will bounce back when it's completely cold but if it's still warm it will like stick together i don't know if you get so leave it to be completely cold and then you can cut off the paper cup with scissors and then you can see your edible moss and the different glorious colors in it <laughs> and it's so easy to make see how nice see these different colors like different colors of like grass depending on what kind of grass and what season of the year okay so it's really easy to make you can use it to decorate different kinds of cakes you can use it to decorate um cakes like maybe animal kingdom cakes or cakes that have grass and vegetation or like children cakes yeah if you put on children maybe those baby shark cakes where like under the sea like it gives you this more more details and more texture and everything and look at the texture see how it is firm like foam it is literally like foam it is tougher than cake because like we really beat out the gluten before putting it in the microwave so that's what you want to do if you want it to be this tough and old its shape yeah see how tough it is and it has different colors in it so once you make sure you cut out the top that top like smooth part you don't want to see that part because that's not mossy that's just i don't know cut out the top yeah i didn't do that in this video but if you're going to be using it as moss you should cut out that top so you won't see that like smooth dome on top and then you can cut it into pieces and use it as desired i used it on my cake and i really loved it <laughs> and it smelled really great yeah it took me like maybe six or seven minutes to make this but you know if you're filming it takes a lot more time okay so let me stop blabbing thank you guys for watching and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please click on subscribe button and turn on the click on the bell as well so you can get notified every time i post something new thank you guys so much and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you really liked it please give me a thumbs up yeah a thumbs up is the button that like the thumb is up and it is black so just click on that it's going to give me a like thank you guys so much and i'll see you in my next tutorial